Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so today what you're looking at is the Wanda FX Trade Practice software that's downloaded on my Mac. And basically, I just wanted to give you a little walkthrough tour of what this software does. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but the real one I wanted to show was... Um, the availability of what's what you can trade through um, through Oanda. Now, it's a lot more. Uh, I thought there'd be a lot more selection with uh, the forex or the currency list. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot. Um, we have here the Australian, Canadian, Swiss franc, euro. Um, uh, British Pound, uh, we also have New Zealand, uh, and U.S. Dollar, so, and then the South African Rand. Now, to be honest, I thought there'd be a lot more combinations, but I'm going to be up front here, because we've looked at the... IB Interactive Brokers uh, FX selection, and it's a little more, but I, I really thought that uh, Oanda would have a lot more than this. Maybe at this point, um, I could be wrong. But the other things that you can trade that are important are the Australian Bund, a copper, corn. Uh, so you got some commodities in here. You also have the German 30, that's for stocks of the German, gold, gold and different currencies. Uh, we also have Hong Kong, the Japanese 225, natural gas, Netherlands at 25, silver, silver again in different currencies, uh, Singapore, soybean, sugar, uh, as well as Swiss, UK, uh, the treasury or the gilt for the UK. Where is it? Just saw it. So right here is the uh, UK gilt 10 year. We also have the treasury as well. And then obviously the, the different crosses of the US dollar. And then we come up to the US um, stock, NASDAQ, Russell, T-Bond, wheat, and so on. So that's our entire selection. Now, from my perspective, oh, and then we also have the oil, Brent Oil, and um, West Texas. Now, these are pretty good because these are fairly liquid, and these are most likely what I'm only interested in trading on the outset. So this is a good little set to play with, um, but obviously I'll move to a bigger uh, broker, uh, specifically with interactive brokers as I advance. That might take quite a while good couple of months, maybe even a year, who knows. Uh, also, with all the different um, assets that we have here, we also have, all, obviously, our different periods um, and uh, charting and so on and so forth. Okay, so we have those capabilities. I want to showcase those because, obviously, those are the most important. Basic charting, it seems to be in real time. Uh, everything else you pretty well have. We have economic analysis here. These either either um, are third party or run by OAND. I'm not sure, but these may be useful uh, for people. But um, these are more visual. I don't know if we can tie those back into uh, tie those back into their API. Uh, I have to figure that out. Um, there's a mar market pulse. I guess these are just like uh, signals, maybe economic as well. We also have here <clears throat> uh, news, but news actually is, where did I see it? Um, news right here. So from my perspective, I can easily tie that back into, if you have a basic feed using IQ feed, you could definitely do that. Uh, technical analysis is kind of through some third party here, auto chart. Um, not interested in that. 
So again, something I'm not going to get too involved with. Uh, and then we have the advanced charting, which is okay. It's part of the um, FX trade here. So uh, I, once again, uh, I'm not going to really get too crazy with this, but uh, from a visual perspective, you can definitely put in your trades and so on and so forth. Uh, what else? And then, of course, we have the, our new trade. So this is a, a, a I'm waiting for approval of, of the account, but it has, it's in the process. Um, so it takes two days. Uh, they're open. Customer service is open from 24 Sorry, from Sunday Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. till 6 p.m. Fridays, which is good. They have two call centers, one in Toronto and one in Singapore. So, you know, it's not too bad. They have a chat, and the process is pretty easy. You've got to send over some photo ID. And, and uh, for if you're Canadian, one, one thing I do like is that you can fund your account through PayPal. And as far as I know, that's only available for Canadians. So I'm doing that because I pretty well live off of uh, PayPal. Um, and what else? Um, I'm sure I'm going to think of something later on that I'll forget. But uh, overall, I will talk about this in more detail. Uh, also, there is uh, support, obviously, for MetaTrader 4. So... I may tie that in with the Python bridge. I think there's something that exists with that. I may do something like that. This is a very basic uh, app. And I know, and I'll do another video of the FX trade for uh, iOS, which is kind of nice. And I know there's another app available for MetaTrader, which I've already looked at. To be honest, I'm not very... Uh, happy with that so overall you know we're, we're on our way but don't expect live trading for a while oh the other big big factor is minimum accounts the reason right now I'm going with uh, Oanda is because I don't want to have to tie up let's say a thousand dollars with interactive brokers so you, you definitely need ten thousand dollars US to apply when you get approved you then and I got VP all the way up to a VP confirmed at IB said you can definitely take out let's say nine thousand dollars and just leave a grand in the account now even if you do that that means it's a thousand dollars tied up in the account but here I only funded twenty dollars like so I'm already good to go and I get access at once I'm hoping to get approved get access to the data get access to the execution and just be able to play around and you know if I lose ten bucks big deal it's no different than walking into a casino and you know just for fun playing five dollar ten dollar bets but not knowing what you're doing so you know that's that's all cool so um that's the approach i i would not go out and blow all your money at the beginning with not properly understanding what you're doing i think that's what most people do because it's kind of exciting to get caught up in the gizmos of all this one thing i need you to really understand is this conversion um thing with pips versus uh, basis points um, all my systems are going to basically uh, move into basis points and percent moves those are important uh, one of the if you haven't seen my video on uh, how brokers screw you this is the exact way they do this is they want you to think in pips and not in percentage or uh, into basis points what the institutions do they do this to confuse you and just another way to do that I'm not saying a win goes out of their way to really uh, screw you over but uh, it would be nice to be able to convert everything in basis points and real simple moves in percentage instead of doing it this way uh, so if you're starting out you're gonna really watch me do this just remember I am going to um, basically have everything converted in basis points no different than what the institutions and the professionals use and let the retail uh, the dumb money trade in the world of pips and this is some of the software I may use 
But again, on the pit moves, I'm not really interested in that. I'm more interested in the basis points and so on and so forth. So we're pretty well. We're we're, we're actually live with a with a real account now, so that's good. But don't expect any uh, live trading with this until we get all our commodity as well as our uh, FX strides in place, and that's going to take a good couple of months. But for now, I'm just going to play around with Awanda with live money and just see how things go. The number one goal I'm after right now is to ensure uh, that I have strategies that are consistently profitable and not just basically throwing darts into a wall in the dark. I, I don't work that way, and that's why it's taken a long time to get to this point. And as I said, in terms of interactive brokers, I think once I get more advanced uh, and I have a larger uh, account, uh, you know, then I'll definitely move into IB. But for now, it's just more... Uh, just getting a feel of the of the account, the trading, and the automation. Now, another factor I just want to that drove me to this point is using uh, a new package. It's fairly been out, fairly new from Oanda called Oanda Pi, and I'm just gonna be testing that once I get everything approved because I'm now an official customer of Oanda, so I should be able to get that up and running. So I'm kind of excited, um, but. You know, I've got a lot of other stuff that I'm wanting to put into place before, you know, I start getting everything up and running with the new analytics service. You know, uh, just as an update, I have to still build the dashboard for it, but I can't do it because it's a showstopper due to the, some software bug in the software. So I've got a couple of developers working on that to get that fixed. And that's for uh, my new quant analytics web front that I'll have uh, once the new ser service kicks in. So I just wanted to give you a highlight where we're at. I'll do another video of the FX Trader for, uh, in my case, um, iPad. Um, so I'm kind of happy about it. Um, you know, it's low risk stuff. It's like I said, $10, $20. And I got confirmation you, you really don't need any uh, funding at all to get your account open, you just need to show who you are, your banking, and all that, which is pretty straightforward. Okay, so over time, let us pray. We are now got a live account, finally, after God knows how many years. All right, so I'll talk to you later. Over and out.